this then? Eh? My ancestor, Mac Whistletake, a real sea wolf he was. So, what period in time will you tell us about today then, Mac? It's the 14th century. Before Europeans knew about the Americas. Well, we can soon fix that. They didn't know Australia or the Antarctic either. Mick, plug that hole or we're sunk. A card! Ah! With so much land waiting to be discovered, the kings of Europe all wanted to be the first to do so. Mega what microphones, Mac? From what I see, the Portuguese have got a head start on everyone else. Aye, the race was on to find a new route to India. Oh, yippee! I love boats. Ahoy, sailor! Here comes the pirate vessel and fire! Oh, Will, this game you've invented is quite realistic. Eh? More fun than having a bath. Don Enrique was so in love with ships that he was known as Henry the Navigator. <clears throat> we have to choose the captain who's to go exploring for us, sir. Oh, and I was having such fun here. So Henry looked among his people for a worthy captain. I wonder what the pa's up to now, Guri. Guri wants to play! Guri wants boats! Oh! Oh! Guri, big afraid! Oh! Wait! Guri don't like! Wait! Hi, hi! Always fancy myself as a sea dog. You never know. I might be the new captain. Now pay attention. Winner will be the one who can get this little boat inside bottle. Well, no problem. That's easy. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. What's this got to do with sailing? Yeah, it's impossible to get everything inside this uh, unless. Uh, 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 uh. Now I'll just shake it up so it's all nice and ship shape. Well, uh, some kind of shape, I suppose. Blistering batteries. Uh. Right. Oh, help! Get me out Bottle. of here, Pimpy! Oh, Gary, no! Ah, help! Shipwreck! Right then. Do your stuff, fellas. Here, what's going on? Boy, there's cheating! Isn't he? No, Mac. That's called initiative. And this young seaman, the winner of the competition, was oh. called Golinio. <laughs> There we are, gents. I came aboard! Ah, bail out! is gonna be famous, Grabinho. And that glory should be ours. Aye, uh, and all the loot. Yeah. Aye, aye, that pondering pirate looks like he's up to no good. But I've got a plan to stop him. Yeah! <laughs> Get up, we've got work to do! The preparations for this epic voyage began with the search for a vessel. It's hard finding the right ship, isn't it? Aye, especially when those African cruises are all rage. Gooey but... like boat! <laughs> a vast sea land lovers, gooey pirate! Ah! You took a bath on that deal, Gooey. Come on, Will. Microphones! Look at the size of that! You'd never get that in your bath. Wow! It's a big one. Aye, aye. This boat looks a little bit familiar. Oh, what's it called? It's on the tip of me cables. Uh... Of course, it's the Titanic! This one is perfect! Sold, then! It's mine! <laughs> <laughs> I named this ship the Unbreakable. Ooh, heck! Ah, well, it just uh, needs a bit of work, that's all. Oh, you reckon? Uh-huh! Idiots! We'll get a much better ship than that one. Let's go find oh, one, bugger! Hey! There's a couple of sailors coming. Get down! What did you say these fish are called, Central? Well, Chubby, oh, oh, oh. they're piranhas. Eat anything. Oh. They can devour a man in five minutes flat and still have room for dessert. For the voyage to be successful, a good crew was essential. Hello, shipmate. Oh, Luke. <laughs> Are there any first-rate sailors in here? Here's oh. a good swimmer. <laughs> oh, dear. Duh. Let's keep on looking. We've got to find ourselves a crew oh. and a good one at hey. that. I bet that left a nasty taste in his mouth. Oh, look oh. out! Oh. 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 I can't oh. wait to sail the seven seas again. Aye, aye, your ancestors finally arrived then, Mac. I think he's a bit annoyed. Some sailors, all you do is play football. Got uh, it. Ha! Uh, uh, excuse me, these men, are they your crew? Aye, lad, they're the best crew in the country. They seem well prepared. Fancy sailing in search of new lands. Oh, that's what I do best. Ha-ha, uh, oh. oh, he's knocked out. 
My ancestor, Mac Whistletight's crew, was to play a key role in this historic odyssey. Oh. Oh. Now, how do I, uh... Oh! Ow! Get me down! I'm not freight! This is frightening! Ow! Oh, it didn't take you long to put your foot in it, eh, Mick? When everything was ready, the caravel set sail. Out into the wild, uncharted seas in search of new lands. Who knew what lay in store? Bye! Bye. <laughs> Hello. Where did you find this rotten tub? And how did he get such a scurvy crew to go with it? All right, Bugger, you and I have got some talking to do. <laughs> Golino had rivals, and a more desperate band of brigands never sailed the seven seas. Oh, look, Mac, the sun has got his hat on. Ha <laughs> ha! Aye, very funny. These voyages took months, even years, so the sailors had time for everything, including recreation. I'm going to be a top fisherman. Keeps me out of the way of the hard work, anyway. I've got to learn how to play football. The other men seem to love it. It's popular, all right. I taught them myself. The game should last 90 minutes, but when we're on the high seas, they play for hours, and I mean hours. Oh, go! go! You'd better get them organised, McWhistle Tyke. What do you think? My ancestor controlled the duration of the game. That's enough. The game's over in 10 minutes. Oh. Hey, I've got a pint. It could be a haddock or a coddle. <laughs> or even a shark. But not even these great navigators knew all the rules. Oh. Especially the rule about time Ow. wasting. Since we're winning, I'll just hold on to the ball and waste some time. Oh, no, you don't, laddie. Snap out of it, Skizzy. No, you're wasting time. <laughs> now, oops. Silly me, I'll have to try again. Hey, Mac, he's wasting time on purpose. He's taking so long, he should be a cricketer. Right, that's it, Skizzino. If you waste time, it ruins the game for everybody else. Yellow card, and from now on, goalkeepers must release the ball quickly and take a goal kick immediately without wasting time. It's in the rules of the game. <laughs> oh, come on, lads. we got to limit the game time. With these delays, games go on forever. Let's eat. Good idea. I could do with a fight. <laughs> Micro-lucidations looks like I'm the first course! On Bug Eye's ship, more traditional forms of entertainment were a constant source of conflict. Ow! Oh, fleece the powder, yeah! Ha! Read them and weep! Help <laughs> mine! Brock, he cheated! Bug Eye's a big cheat! Brock! Cheating ain't allowed. If it were, we'd do it. If I knew what cheating meant, you'd <laughs> really be for it. I'll turn you into a feathered duster, you mangy pal! But everything Blue. stops for tea. <laughs> hey. oh, oh, yes, come on. <laughs> Pirates have no manners. The pitching and tossing of the ship and food oh, hygiene so being what it was, the results were somewhat inevitable. Oh, don't remember yeah, it. Well. <laughs> Every member of the crew took pride in performing his maritime duties. I didn't know these navigators invented figure skating. Hey, Mac, look, watch me triple axel. Ah! Oh! There's so many circuits that put the skids under the skating. Come on, then, your turn now, Moby Dick. Nice one, Moby. All right, it's all yours now, defence team, yo. Scrub, scrub, scrub. A sailor's work is never done. Having completed their duties, the sailors would return to their favourite pastime. OK, that's oh. Not... Oh. You know what they ought to do with people like you? Oh. Uh-oh. There's only two minutes left. I'll see if I can waste some time. Wow, 
Oh, boom microphones. Now that's what I call a kick. That's game over then. It'll take us hours to get the ball back. Yellow card central for deliberately wasting time during a match. It's in the rules of the game, laddie. Ten degrees to port. We've got to get that ball back. In future, we'll have several backup balls at different points around the pitch to avoid this waste of time. It was thanks to these long-distance kicks that the Portuguese began to discover, bit by bit, the true outline of the African continent. While his intrepid crew continued their voyage, Henry the Navigator enjoyed the sights of the newly discovered world. Bing bong! Can I have your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen? Dodgy Cruises would like to remind passengers of our extensive range of facilities. For example, our state-of-the-art gymnasium. Or you may prefer to take a refreshing dip in our Olympic-sized swimming pool. Will the passengers who've lost a baby pick him up in the baggage area? There he was, Bobo! Where do you think Golinho is now, Henry? Oh, who knows, Isabella? This cocktail is good. On the strongest side. Stand by to board! Gravino and his men boarded the cruise ship and took Don Enrique's family as prisoners. They were at his mercy. Don Enrique and family, and how are you this morning? Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, my finger, my finger! Bring them aboard, we'll keep them until oh. someone pays an extortionate ransom. <laughs> we'll be rich! Oh, rich I say. help me! <laughs> Thanks for dropping in. It was Grabino's ambition to get rid of Golinho, and that opportunity soon arose. There's a ship ahoy! Aha! Uh -huh. Good! First I'll sink Golinho's ship, then I shall be free to discover the treasures of the new lands, and I'll keep them all to myself, the money and the glory! <laughs> Golinho and his men were completely unaware of Grabino's evil plan. Pirates of the Starble Bow! Pirates of the Starble Bow! No sonic boom, we're being boarded! Oh. Board her! I want that ship! Oh, no. Of the words fair play. <laughs> and they're taking Isabella with them. Grabino had wrecked the caravel and made his escape with Isabella. You might have warned me. Stop complaining, you electronic ingrate. Grabino was so pleased he even let his men play football. Oh, I'll just hang around here then. <laughs> it's grateful, Miss Footy, ain't it, Ukai? Oh, obviously, you have come this one. Hey! Oh! Here's a fire! Let's run, though! Here we go! This game uh. brings them together! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wait till Golinho gets here, then you'll see! And Grabino would soon be in for a nasty shock. Golinho had rebuilt the caravel and was determined to rescue Isabella. Caravel ahoy! Huh? It can't be the same ship! Impossible! But it is! Those bilge rats are chasing us! Set full sail! Faster! <laughs> With both ships in competition to discover new lands, Golinho suggested a unique way of settling the differences. I propose a treaty, Grabinho. What kind of treaty, you scurvy rat? <gasps> oh. 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 We'll play a game of football. The winners will continue to search for a way through to India and will also keep the princess. That's the deal. The loser will sink his ship and swim home. We'll play one half on your boat and one half on mine. Such a unique game caused a great deal of excitement among the marine animals. It could be! Mm -hmm. <laughs> a football match on two ships. Let's see, a game of two crafts. You'll never defeat Galeno. I know he won't let me down. The game will be in two 45-minute halves, and you all know the new rules. I'll caution any player who deliberately wastes time. It's in the rules of the game. Now, let's kick off. Good luck to you both, and play fair. <laughs> ah. 
Foul defense in your own blunderbuss. I'm no fairy did it on purpose. How did you say free kick? Okay. Ah. All right, Blunderbuss, I'm cautioning you for not taking the free kick from the correct place and for deliberately wasting time. Wasting time? What you on about? You just don't like me, do ya? <laughs> I like your style. Cheats never win, warty nose. Go! Oh, yeah! 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 oh dear, what terrible luck, but we're not sunk yet. Come on, you pirates! <laughs> Well, at least the score is a good shot. Yeah. Still, I suppose the bad guys have to score sometimes. Throw it to the pirates. I really am shattered. Well, since we're winning, I'll waste a little bit of time here and I'll get my strength back while I'm at it. Come on, Hookay. Stop wasting time or I'll have to caution you. Football's a fast-flowing game and slowing it down ruins it for the spectators. Get on with it. Mm. That's mine. We're ahead and we want to keep it that way, you idiots. So waste time whenever you can. Ignore the referee. Ha! Good save, Tatooineo. I thought I'd surprised you. Oh, you did, eh? Well, you're going to get the surprise, Ginger. Go! Oh, 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 you hit me! Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh. But I hardly touched him, Ref. Oh, oh. Caution for faking injury and wasting time, Tatooineo. Oh, all right. Don't go on. I'm just sensitive, that's all. It didn't work this time, but we'll keep wasting time until we win. Don't you worry, your pretty little... The pirates had yet to grasp oh. the rudiments of fair play. Ha-ha! I've got it, shipmates. Now I can waste time all day. No, you can't, what? Tatooineo. Oh. A goalkeeper cannot pick up a ball that has been passed or thrown into him by a teammate, and when he does pick it up, he cannot take more than four steps with it before playing it. Either offence shall result in an indirect free kick to the opposing side. It's in the rules of the game. You see, these new rules help to keep football exciting, and they must be adhered to. <whistles> Half-time change ends. I mean, change ships. There's only 45 minutes left and we're losing. Don't fret, Henry Old Fruit. If anyone can find the goal, Galenio can. He's a dab hand at it and we can still win. A swing of grog to celebrate our lead, my dear. Anyone <laughs> seen that bottle of turpentine I left around there? Did you say turpentine? <laughs> <laughs> and what happened to that bucket of dirty water we all washed our feet in? The second half began with Grabino's team in the lead, and still they wasted time. Paul and a yellow card. Hookai. Good job, Mip Whistle Tykes here. He knows how to stamp out this foul play. Distract them, Bug Eye, while we build a wall. Hmm. Move out of the way, ah. Bug Eye. I'm trying to take a free kick. I'm staying. My boss told me to. So if your boss told you to jump out of a window, you would do that, would you? Hmm. I don't know. OK, first things first. I'll block the kick and then I'll jump out the window, if that's OK with you. You must be 9.15 metres from the ball. Now, look, I've got nothing personal against you, Mick Whistletag, but my boss told me to stay here, so I'm staying here like... Oh, aye. Well, here's a yellow card for blocking the ball and interfering with a free kick to try and waste time. It's in the rules of the game, laddie. I've told you that already. Now, let's get on. Shoot! Shoot! <laughs> Galeno had tied the score. We've got to keep wasting time so they can't score another. Do you hear me, you mermaid's blouses? No! Ooh. Come here. Substitute. Bug eye, time's nearly up, so come off the field as slowly as possible. Then we can waste more time. Nice and slow, Aye. like the boss said. Taking your time leaving the field, eh, Bresselino? Yellow card for wasting time and for misconduct. We're winning! We're winning! And we are losing! We must play fast men and score before the final whistle! Stand by to repel borders! Huh? <laughs> well, I might as well. Yeah! 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 I can't believe it! We've scored another one! Yeah! What a 
Save gold! That's a real slap in the face with a wet fish for those pirates! Ha <laughs> ha! Got to slow down Oh, well, it wouldn't have done you any good, Grabinho. The only valid timepiece in a game is the one the referee carries. Trying to stop the stadium clock is just another way of playing dirty. You can't fight time, and my watch says it's all over. Yay! Isabella's free at last, and we can continue our journey to India. Yes! Yeah! Oh! So fair play prevailed, with Golino's team the winners by three goals to one. He who plays fair wins, while well, he who cheats is fish food. Oh, oh, yeah! So Golino and his crew continued on their journey discovering en route the true outline of Africa and opening a new sea route for the passage to India. Sounds like a good title for a film, ha-ha! <laughs> hi, hi, how's it all going then, Mac? You know very well that you're late, Mac. We have to close today's episode now and you're wasting time. Now, come on! I've been checking the time-wasting rules. I've got them all written down. Yes, uh, I've got to down see. Then. Players will be cautioned if the ref thinks they're deliberately wasting time on free kicks, goal kicks and throw-ins. Very good, Mick. And when players exaggerate an injury in order to waste time by being taken off the field. And when they deliberately kick the ball away after the whistle, or take too long to come and go as substitutes, or stand in front of the ball where their opponents are trying to take a free kick, thereby giving themselves more time to make a wall. That's all wasting time. The referee will also bear in mind losses of real time in the event that fans keep hold of the ball or cause other delays. And the only valid timepiece is the referee's watch. We're out of time, Mick. Say goodbye. We'll, we'll see, see you all next time, time football, football fans. Desi and Mick travelling together in the pre-Columbian Americas. Is this going to be a micro honeymoon? No, but they'll take us to the Mexico of the Mayan civilization just before the arrival of the Spanish conquistadors. The architects of the famous Stepped Pyramids, together with my ancestor, Mac Tezuma, will show us how to build the perfect football stadium, covering all aspects of seating, facilities and the like. So join us for comedy and adventure in the next episode of Football Stories. Right, before we set sail, we're all going to sing the Fair Play song and have a whale of a time. Whale of a time for? I wonder where he gets his material from. <laughs>